Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Uh, tonight I'm doing a little collab with my good friends Lee and Jeremy Massey from Massey Art Studio. They had done a 36 by 36 inch gallery wrapped pour last week, which had a flip cup and a dustpan pour, and it was really, really beautiful and really inspired me, and I wanted to pour it. So I've decided to do that one, and I think Lee and Jeremy are gonna recreate a couple of my pours. Or actually, they probably already have, because they went yesterday. <laughs> In any case, this is our inspiration celebration collaboration with Massey Art Studio, and I'm super excited. So, in the interest of time and space, I'm gonna tell you what I'm working with real quick. This is a 36 by 36 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and pinned it, and I have painted my sides and edges. You have to trust her on that. I think, <laughs> I, think I can. Oh no, she's gonna do it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's move that over a little bit, and I'll show you the colors that I'm working with really quick. Uh, the first one we have. This is. I see. What is it? Golden's Prussian Blue. And to that, I have added some of my Decoart Americana Decor in uh, metallics in deep sapphire to the Prussian blue. And it's a really, really pretty color. Very beautiful. Okay, everything is mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol tonight. And it's not real thin, it's actually fairly thick. Because I do want to do a flip cup and I do want to do a ring pour for my dustpan portion. <laughs> Where do you see the dustpan? <laughs> the next one we are using is Golden's Permanent Violet Dark, which I am absolutely in love with and very happy to have back in stock. Okay, pretty thick, still kind of leaving a mound before it disappears. Okay, and the next one we are using is Golden's, and this is a combination of the Quinacridone Crimson and the quinacridone violet, both of them together. Okay. And then we have Payne's Gray, but I mixed this one <laughs> with this Golden's Micaceous Iron Oxide. Actually, it's mostly the Micaceous Iron Oxide with some Payne's Gray in it. It's a lovely color, pretty thick. Okay, and then I have big cups. <laughs> um, then I have some Amsterdam Pearl Blue mixed with a tiny bit of Satin Enamels in Pure White. Okay, and I have been advised to use this one in between darker colors so it will show up more as one of the pearls. I also have Amsterdam Titanium White also with a tiny bit of Satin Enamels in it because I felt like I really needed more than just one white. I have some 24 karat gold from Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. Lovely stuff. I feel like a leprechaun with a pot of gold stirring this. <laughs> okay, then I also have some Prussian blue mixed up as a base coat, which is slightly thinner than everything else. So what we're going to do we're going to lay down this base coat of the Prussian Blue. Then we're gonna layer one of these big 32 ounce cups as a flip cup. And we're gonna do a flip and drag across one side and we're gonna tilt that out. And then we're gonna layer my dustpan. <laughs> Let me show you the dustpan because it's hilarious. <laughs> what do you think of that, H.O.A.? Hey, <laughs> Left my own heart, baby. <laughs> So I actually found this at Tractor Supply and I thought it was hilarious, but then I thought, you know, that would actually really work probably really, really well. So we're going to try this dustpan out and see how that goes. I'm very excited though. It should be a lot of fun. Okay, so let's get started. Let's layer our cup first. So we're going to layer our dirty cup for our flip and drag before we put our base coat down. I'm gonna start with some permanent violet dark. Can you spin that around so I see the markings? Oh, the ounce markings? Yeah. Like that? Sure. Okay, here we go. We're gonna put some of this in the bottom. And then I'm gonna dirty pour other colors in there. So we're gonna have a little bit of gold in there. And I'm pouring them from up high because I want them to sink underneath. Okay, we're gonna put some of this 
One acridone crimson violet in there. And a shot of white from up high. And some of our Prussian blue. Okay. I'm gonna put another little splash of white in there. And some gold. And some more permanent violet dark. If you hear chewing, that's Baxter with his bone <laughs> that he went and dug up and found. <laughs> you had to season it. Yeah, right. Some more of the Quinacridone Violet. I think we're going to put one more shot of white. Now, I have not used any panes in this one yet. And I don't actually think I want to. I want to save that for the ring for I am going to put one more shot of Prussian Blue in there. Okay. That's ready to go. That's so pretty already. All right, now I'm going to lay down my base coat, which is my Prussian blue, just by itself. We're going to give that one more good stir. Okay. show you guys my my version of the show pony shirt <laughs> I actually love this shirt this is my show pony I love him I love his little horn and his sassy sunglasses with attitude <laughs> lovely apron that Joanne Ralston made for me. Blue at Art Boutique. It was a lot of fun. All right. So. Whew. <laughs> I'm going to flip this onto the canvas about over here. Okay. This is 32 ounce container. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Aye, lass. Semper Paratus. <laughs> here we go. Wonk. This is so pretty already. Ah, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, just gonna give that a minute. Now Jeremy did a flip and drag, so he pulled it across the canvas. He actually didn't drag it too much. <laughs> okay, are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I was. I don't know if I'm gonna drag it. I might just like it. gently pull it across. Okay. 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 That works too. I think I am going to lip it. That's really pretty. Okay. All right. That's good. Let's tilt this out. I'm going to start by taking this down to that edge. And kind of walk it down a little bit because I want it to go over that edge. I'm gonna come back this way just a bit. And we're gonna take it down off of that corner. Slide and relax. Yep. Yeah. That's the base coat. Bring it back to the middle again one more time. And we're gonna take it down that way. float down a little bit. Okay. That's looking pretty cool so far. I'm gonna wipe my hands off real quick and then we will torch that. And then we will get started layering our <laughs> 
Mark up for a ring for. <laughs> Let's torch this first. Okay, Torchy. from the lip. That's really cool. Just take this off this edge and bring it down a little bit. Okay, I'm actually gonna take it down some more. And kind of stretch this out because I don't want to lose much of this top part. I'd rather stretch it out down that way. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> sliding off you see well this is actually really good that we've stretched this out because now we can decide which parts of it we like the most and we want to keep and which parts we wouldn't mind getting rid of I'm gonna take the weight back this way just a touch sorry okay wow this is really pretty I love all of these lines that are going on in there definitely want to keep that. Okay, so we're going to do the dustpan along that bottom edge. All right, so we're just going to leave this for the moment and let's layer a cup for our ring pour. All right. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that already. It's gorgeous. Okay, so we want layers and I want contrast. So I'm gonna have a lot more white in this than I did in the other one. We're actually gonna start with a little bit of gold at the bottom. And a little bit of white. Okay, and we're gonna come in with some of that permanent violet dark. And some of our Quinacridone Violet Crimson. I'm going to put a layer of the pearl blue on there. And some of our Prussian with the sapphire in it. And a little bit of gold. And now I'll go back to that. Pearl blue again. And some of our Payne's gray. Come back to the permanent violet dark. Okay. I think I want to layer one more cup. Or I'm going to layer a 16 ounce cup. Just move that over there just in case that's not enough. If not, I can always use it for something else. So on a smaller scale, gold, white, violet, crimson violet mix. Little bit of 
and curl right again. A little bit more of the perimeter, but okay. So this is where we get <laughs> complicated. I think I might have to put this back here and this over here because I'm right-handed. Okay, so we're keeping this top section, right? Yeah, so we're gonna pour it along that bottom section. So I'm gonna turn this. <coughs> I'm gonna move that down there. Now we're gonna get our dustpan. <laughs> it's like a three ring circus look. How to pour a three by three painting on a four by four table. <laughs> Very carefully, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna back, take the back sort of hold that back end up for Yeah, right. I'm gonna take some of the white and just pour it in here. And then kinda tilt that around there along that edge. To make sure that our paint has something to slide on nice and easy. See, I guess I can turn it. You if put I can it on the pour shelf. This way. And lean it on the shelf if you twist no, I'm it. I'm good. I'm fine. Twist it a little more. I'm fine. Can you see it? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? <laughs> All right, Here we go. We're gonna do a ring pour. backwards so we don't lose all our paint. And I'm going to take that little cup <laughs> and we're going to do the second one. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to turn this. Okay. Here we go. Let's pull this closer. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I was. Here we go. Baxter for the musical accompaniment. I'm gonna put the rest of this over here because there's still paint in this tray. Yeah, I know, right? That's looking really pretty. That's a little messy. Okay, so we're gonna turn this. Let's see, let's take this down first a little bit. Let's stretch some of this out. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it around. We are gonna lose some of this at the bottom, but that's okay, you know? Take this down kind of over this way a little bit to get rid of that messy bit and then down off of the bottom and then this way get some of that off and then we're gonna turn it I'm gonna bring this down and open this part up Oh, it's really cool looking. All right, decision time. Which side do we like more? The side closest to me or the side closest to you? I kind of think the side closest to me. All right, because there's a lot of paint right here. 
that needs to come off. So we're going to just take it straight down and let it float down. Once we go over that edge, we're going to bring it back and fix all that, so don't worry. Yeah. Oh. Not really. So this is really interesting. I thought that I was going to absolutely love the flipped up side a lot more, but I kind of love what's happening over there. But now I feel like it's kind of changed the flip cup a little bit, which it has, but that's okay. We're not getting these like mountains. <laughs> What do you think, HOA? I kind of like the flip cup side, but I, I do dig with it. I liked it better before, now I kind of like that better though. Roll with it, baby. Hmm? Roll with it. Or I could just stretch that out and not have a flip cup side. I do love like what's happening in here. These lines are really beautiful. So let's stretch this out a little bit more. really cool so it's not intention in what I had originally kind of planned but as HOA said sometimes you got to roll with the punches they say they bump on roulette that's right let the good times roll baby so we're gonna torch this one more time and then we're gonna be all finished I love this I love this like the swoop there from the dustpan and then another one there and then another series there. It's almost like waves or mountains or something. Mm -hmm. And I love all the colors in this, so it's cool. <laughs> but see, now I can't see where the air bubbles are, honey. Thank 
kitchen in the, <laughs> in the studio. What's the matter, baby? I'm gonna turn it around so they can see it from that direction. I think this is my kitchen. <laughs> That's awesome. Look how cool that is. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna put that down, and we're gonna call that done. And I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. I really appreciate all of you being here with us and all your love and support. You guys are amazing. And uh, we'll see you real soon. Make sure you check out uh, the Massey Boys Pour. I will link it for you in the description box. And um, check out also our After Fab collab happening this Sunday, May 29th. There was one last Sunday on the 22nd that was really, really, that was part one that was awesome and amazing. And part two is coming up this Sunday. So I'll show you this one once dry. We'll be right back. Okay, so this is a couple of days later. I can't actually zoom out more than that to get more of it in frame, but you can see the painting, which is the important part. I love this. I love how it turned out. Now I'm balanced on a ladder bending over, so. <laughs> Look how cool those lines are though. That's just awesome. You really like these colors together. That Prussian blue and the Payne's gray mixed with the micaceous iron oxide. Gorgeous gradient. I mean, part of this is because it's stretched, but you know, those colors are just amazing together. And this is really fun. That dustpan sitting over there. <laughs> Um, a lot of fun, kind of big, kind of too big for this small room, but uh, fun stuff. So I'm kind of glad that we kept the dustpan part. I liked the flip cup part a lot. I thought it was actually really, really pretty, and I probably could have just stretched that one flip cup out over the whole thing, and it would have been awesome, and I may do that again. Um, I need to get some more 36 by 36s, but I love how this piece turned out. I think it really looks like mountains or a geode, just gorgeous color. Really neat stuff. So this was fun. Hope you guys check out Lee and Jeremy's video, their inspiration collaboration. Inspiration celebration collaboration. Because <laughs> they did a great job. So thank you so much, Lee and Jeremy. Thank you guys, all of you, for being here with us. We love you a lot. And I will show you this one in the next video when it is completely, completely dry out in the sun. We'll see you real soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.